what the hell what's going on here which one is the correct drawing a week ago i'm sitting on my work desk when i had to call a co-worker to clarify some drawing management basically we both were working on the same project and i was confused as which one was the drawing that we were supposed to be using after i knew the correct drawing to work on i let him know that I was highlighting some of the drawings that I already finished to avoid any confusion in the future. Nicely, I suggested him also to do the same. After he left, I wondered whether people actually care about making their co-workers life easier or not. Probably not many, but what about making their boss life easier? Anyways. Since there isn't much information out there about this subject, here are some how to cut bad practices when working on a team project and tips to turn them into good practices. Hi there, I'm Irving. Last week we talked about some of the most useful and advanced AutoCAD selection techniques. Today, we're gonna talk about bad and best AutoCAD practices. So what is the issue here inside this folder? Well, for the person who created these files, there is no issue, right? But if you work in a team, which means many people are using these files then there is a big issue from my experience i know this dash recovery file is created sometimes when there is a corrupted drawing and autocad is trying to save a backup but if you know that you had a corrupted issue you should go to your files and make sure that you rename your files accordingly to avoid any issues with your co-workers or even your boss. Let me show you what we actually do at the office where I work. Basically, here we only should have the elevations, right? Based on this folder name. So what you can do is you can create a new folder and call it, for instance, boy. And here I know the elevation lazy architecture is the current and most updated file. So I'm gonna pick all of the rest and move it to the void folder. Again, I'm gonna do the same with all of these back files, but the actually lazy architecture drawing. So once I moved it to the void folder, I know again that these are only the actual files that we're supposed to work on. Again, if in any time you need to go back to these files, you can easily access them from the void folder. Of course, once the project is done and you are 100% sure that you won't need these files, you can go and remove them as you wish. So now that we know which one is the correct file here in this folder, let me go ahead and open it. To go with the next bad practice that I don't want you to do when working on a team project. If I'm totally new to this drawing, I can come here and see these two drawings and I will ask me what the hell what's going on here which one is the correct drawing right I mean I didn't work on this drawing so I don't know what's going on I mean I understand that sometimes you might want to create a copy of your drawing and move it to the site maybe to create a new alternative or a new option for your client and so on but this is not clear for the other person that is also working on your project. So 
what I will suggest here to convert this bad practice into a good one there are a couple of things that you can do for instance I will draw a rectangle around the drawing that it's the the actual one the good one and then if I want to keep this and maybe it's another option you can you know copy one of these texts and and rename it maybe put something like option 2 nice and big so that way the other person that is gonna come into your drawing he knows automatically what's going on here now let's go to the next bad practice that I don't want you to do because your co-worker and boss are gonna hate you <laughs> if you do so so if I zoom out here now things are clear here right now if I zoom out a little bit I can see that there are other drawings here and also over here so what, what's up with those drawings right and probably the person who was working on this drawing you know he moved things here and there and copy things around but it will cause issues because if we go to paper space right now you can see that on any of those layout tabs none of those are showing actually this drawing over here as well as the other one so what i would suggest here is if you really need to keep these drawings you can actually put an X on it like so and you know you might need it let's say for reference to copy some objects or so on but if you put an X and I'm gonna put it also on this other one immediately the person who comes into your drawing he's gonna know that you know this is not a drawing that you are using so that would be clear for your co-workers even your boss now the next bad practice that I don't want you to do is this drawing is clear for your co-workers and your boss but the thing is when you send drawings to a client they don't really need to have all of these extra drawings that were only for your use or for your reference so what you can do is create a new folder with today's date and call something like backup and then you can copy the drawing and paste it over there like so I never recommend to delete any drawing till you got your project completed so this way you can go back to your actual drawing and erase all the unnecessary drawings or objects so you can send a drawing to a client nice and clean now let's go to the next AutoCAD bad practice if we go to paper space now you can see that we have three different layouts now are these layouts different or are those the same who knows right because again I didn't work on this drawing so this is a very bad practice that you should avoid now if I put myself on the other person's place they probably did it because they wanted to keep a copy of their paper space drawing so what I would recommend here if you actually need to keep a copy of your layout you can rename it and something like void right I can see that this looks like the main one if you can you can ask your co-worker about which one is the right layout to use but for this example I know that the good one is the EX 2.0 so again I can rename this as void 
So the next person that comes actually here, they can understand that this is the one that they need to focus. Now here is an extra tip or technique that will make your coworkers and your boss really love you. And this is whenever you finish working on a drawing, make sure that in model space you do a zoom extends. In this case, I did click two times on my middle mouse wheel and then in paper space again the same zoom extends procedure before you save and close your drawing. This will give you a nice preview for your co-workers and boss even without open your drawing. These are just few AutoCAD best practices for working on a team project. Which practices am I missing? Let me know in the comments below.